What is this? Well, we don't know yet, but I just caught a vibe, and we're going to ride that vibe and see where it leads us. That's the only way to do it. Let's go.
all that.
had this.
kind of job or career that you might have is that the internet has massively broadened the possible space of careers. Most people haven't figured this out yet. The fundamental property of the internet, more than any other single thing, is it connects every human to each other human on the planet. You can now reach everyone, whether it's by emailing them personally, whether it's by broadcasting to them on Twitter, whether it's by putting up a website they come and access. So the internet is an inter-networking tool. It connects everybody. That is a superpower. The internet means that you can find your audience for your product or your talent and skill, no matter how far away they are. Any niche obsession, people who collect snakes, people who like to ride hot air balloons, people who like to sail around the world by themselves as one person on a craft, or there's a show about a woman building people's houses and tidies it up. So whatever niche obsession you have, the internet allows you to scale. Now that's not to say that what you build will be the next Facebook will reach billions of users, but if you just want to reach 50,000 passionate people like you, there's an audience out there for you. The fundamental property of the internet, more than any other single thing, it connects everyone to everyone. Everyone to everyone. That is its superpower. It connects everyone to everyone. It connects everyone to everyone. Everyone to everyone. Everyone to everyone to everyone to everyone. So the beauty of this is that we have 7 billion beings on this planet. The combinatorics of human DNA are incredible. Everyone is completely different. You'll never meet any two people who are even vaguely similar to each other that can substitute for each other. It's not like you can say, well, Nibby just left my life so I can have this other person come in and he's just like Nibby and I get the same feelings, the same responses, and the same ideas. No, there are no substitutes for people. People are completely unique. So given that each person has different skill sets, different interests, different obsessions, it's that diversity that becomes a creative superpower. So each person can be creatively superb at their own unique thing. But before, that didn't matter, because if you were living in a little fishing village in Italy, your fishing village didn't necessarily need your completely unique skill, and you had to conform to just a few jobs that were available. But now, today, you can be completely unique. You can go out on the internet and you can find your audience and you can build a business and create a product and build wealth and make people happy. Just uniquely expressing yourself through the internet. The fundamental property of the internet, more than any other single thing, it connects everyone to everyone. Everyone to everyone. And that is its superpower. It connects everyone to everyone. It connects everyone to everyone, everyone to everyone, everyone to everyone to everyone to everyone. The space of careers have been so broad. Esports players, people creating videos and uploading, bloggers, podcasters, YouTube broadcasters, PewDiePie is the number one trusted name in news. He's got three times the distribution of the top cable news networks. The internet enables any niche interest as long as you're the best at it. Because every human is different, everyone is the best at something, being themselves. Escape competition through authenticity. When you're competing with people, it's because you're copying them. It's because you're trying to do the same thing. But every human is different. 
maybe trying to make sense of this, hey, because, well, what the hell's going on? Why am I selling out 3,000 person auditoriums? I use the stage, let's say, as an opportunity in real time to think. I've been thinking, well, if you're surfing, you don't confuse yourself with the wave. It's okay. 
trust me, it's okay. You might be called one day. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be called one day. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be called nigger one day. You might be called some Jewish word or some faggot or gay word. It's okay. Let them call you that. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that. Now I'm going to harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now. How? That's the question. How are you going to do that? Look in your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror. Because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be caught one day. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be caught one day. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay.